going on everybody it's day two out at the land i didn't film much yesterday it was kind of a work day um see i've got the a-liner up here that was a task we'll talk more about that in a minute i uh, spent yesterday cutting down some trees i get that in here and uh still trying to widen out the drive here at the back my chainsaw is dull again <laughs> so got a, some progress made i started kind of following this little wash up cleaning it out trying to see if it could be another trail it's got some potential it's not not as good as the three mile gorge but we've got some potential down here and also made a little bypass from this area down to the gorge so we've got a little alternate route if we get bored on the way back we can come up this way and play around i got the trails all cleaned out i've already run out of makita batteries because um, i spent so much time up here this section but also went around finally found my northern property line it's not as far away as i thought as you can see there's a green thing there um, it comes right over the end of the gorge but i finally tracked it all the way back just using a compass marked it so we've got a whole lot of land over here those aren't property lines those are trees i wanted to take down <laughs> but um yeah eventually up there on that flat spot is where I'm gonna get the camper. And I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna have to have some kind of circle drive. So the problem's getting in here. Um, it was bumpy up the road in the mountain. It rattled around. I did drag my spare tire and bend my spare tire mount, which I knew it would even after I raised it up. So we bent that a little bit. May take it off, get out of here, we'll see got the tools to do it Yeah, this thing filthy <laughs> got the truck stuck and let me show you where all the problems are it's my first time camping with a generator too it's uh not too terribly noisy but turn it off so we can film so my entrance is it was too narrow i took a pretty large tree out right here and thought that was really helps. So I got the trailer in here and it kept trying to jackknife and I couldn't get the truck straight because this giant mound of dirt over here. This is just something they made when they cut the roads. They just kind of shoved a whole bunch of debris off to the side. This was really the only good spot I could make a driveway. So uh, yeah, I cut that big tree down and then right here next to it, just a giant hole I couldn't see because it was full of leaves and pine needles. And yeah, I got that side stuck. This side dug a couple of big holes and I disconnect from the trailer, shovel a little bit, get the truck unstuck. I dug another hole up there with the front tire. Finally got the truck out, and then I had to spend a couple hours trying to dig out this side. I've got it a couple feet back from where it was, and because back in that trailer, and I need the truck to swing real far out, and it just wasn't cutting it. <clears throat> so I shoveled all that dirt down here, threw some big rocks, tried to stack them neatly so they would kind of fit together so we should be able to get out just fine now getting back in still gonna be a trick because we've got a giant speed bump in the way but I shoveled so much yesterday I got blisters on my hands just trying to dig away at this I need this whole little point gone and level not a lot of stuff greening up out here yet it's still gonna get some more winter weather up this way I've got these flowers whatever these trees are <laughs> got a few of those around some more over there but for the most part all the non pine trees are still barren the trail wasn't too bad I think that one cleanup we did right after all the leaves fell it was really all it needed um, I found a couple more spots in the back too while I was walking the property line it's just a gold mine of rocks so <sighs> I need a wheelbarrow said last time I was gonna bring my wheelbarrow with me this time and I forgot <laughs> so, here's the inside of the camper it's pretty messy but just enough space I got a little work area table computer can work on rigs got a little fridge the sink has no water tank so it's kind of useless it has AC and a heat pump but we'll talk more about that in the full video on this I'm gonna do a kind of a review walk around with it but it won't be in this one 
I forgot to get a broom. Floors are filthy. Yay. Brought a few rigs. Um, in this video, I think I'm just going to drive the C2X, kind of re-familiarize myself with the trail, see if we're going to make any changes. I just brought it because I haven't got to drive it in a while. Um, it's been pretty bulletproof so far since we kind of re-engineered the suspension and got it setting, setting right. Got those big Thornburgs on it. Um, we're going to do a video on Old Red and maybe the Forerunner together. Since they both kind of got electronics updates, the Forerunner got some weight reduction up top. And then we'll do a video on the Cross Country Jeep and see how that performs. I haven't got to drive it anywhere but at the house and uh, really looking forward to see how that does on the trail. But in this video, we're going to do C2X, so I'm going to get it out and start setting it up.
All right, guys, I got a little board. C2X is pretty capable, so we needed some more rocks. So now in the middle of the bypass, we've got pizza rock. A rock shaped like pizza. <laughs> so I've just been piling up everything that I can carry. Uh, I'm not sure routes or anything yet. Just kind of kind of just having fun. In 100 years, archaeologists going to be like, oh, this is one of those tiny truck guys lived here once upon a time. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work or nothing. I've tried to stomp them all in the ground the best I can. The ground's pretty soft, but there are going to be some loose rocks and things like that. So we'll just have to see. I've been robbing from up there. That's just too wide a space. And honestly, that could be part of my driveway if I clean it out a little bit more. So just been picking the stuff I can pick up or dig out. Um, I've seen a couple wild looking caterpillars or millipedes or whatever lives in these holes some earthworms nothing big nothing much All right, guys, C2X did pretty well. Um, no major issues, the shocks are crying. <laughs> so that's something we'll have to look at again. We may try to do grease or something this time instead of the shock oil. Um, let's see, maybe the ends are all mucked up. So they're leaking again pretty good. <laughs> so still feel pretty good they're not overly springy the back sound a little dry front still feel decent um yeah overall no complaints really about this truck i'm really excited to get the old red one out but it's going to get its own video um only other thing left to do on this maybe eventually move it up to a 1080 and i was Steering servo, this would be a good candidate for a reefs. Um, I think this is the twister, the newer version of it that comes with the kit or the ready to runs. It's not bad at all, but it, it's time for an upgrade, I think. But still loving these tires, these Thornburgs, these black rhino wheels. And I think those things have been pretty unstoppable. They're not too soft that they don't give the foams are hard. And these are just stock foams that come with it. RC4 drives up their phone game a little. So, pretty happy with that. I'm kind of having second thoughts about my bumper design. Because I keep trying to line up on rocks and I'm hitting my ends on it. So, I may have to shorten that up or bend them up or do something with that. But that little homemade bumper's held up pretty well. My lights and everything mounted to it. So, I'm going to put this rig up. And I'm going to do some filming for the other videos. Just keep enjoying the nature. It's getting a little windy out. But it's warming up nice. We're in the 60s now, I think. It was mid to high 40s last night. It got a little chilly. 
I'm about to do something about those trees. They're squeaking in the wind, leaning on the other ones. Well, I'm gonna be driving the cross country. I forgot the battery adapter. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, they RC4 drive switched to these, the XT60s, and the adapter I got for the SEX10 will work from a Dean's. And I actually have a new Helios battery with an XT60 on it, and I forgot completely about that. <sighs> Well, I guess we'll drive our forerunner next. <laughs> it's walking back to the back to use the internet. <clears throat> this place is a treasure trove of rocks. Unfortunately, the majority of these are way too big for me to get. I can't sneak up on nothing out here with all these leaves. Got a lot of dead trees like this. Thing is right over me. <laughs> next to this giant pine tree. Really need to uh, find a way to get a bobcat or get steer back here, and then I could have some fun. Because I really, I need my campsite to be out in the middle of this. And there's a lot of spots where there's not a whole lot of big trees. It would be easy to clear down. It's just getting getting back here. <laughs> there's a couple pretty good sized pines out there. I see one kind of dead ahead. I don't know how tall that is. It's probably. 80, 100 foot maybe. Pretty big. Need to clear out some of this underbrush and give these things room to grow. And back here on the south edge, you can see the flags. This is my cell phone tower. Tree with the crook in it. I always get some phone service back here. Cause I'm only about a mile from town at this point. It's about a six mile ride around the edge of the mountain to get to here, but if you're close to the town that direction, you can kind of see another ridge between those trees. But I can usually get service. Of course, I'm not right now. I was going to post something on Instagram. Round about here in the middle. This is where I need to make my camp. It's got a lot of stuff smaller, damaged, and come down. Not right before it slopes back down to the rear first little hump and there's a pretty big one and then there's a property line and then it goes back up for a bigger ridge it's pretty steep I don't know if this has been logged before or something or the up section behind me has been logged before it's different property but once you get to that property line it's all giant pine trees there's less of the shrubby underbrush it's really pretty back there I'd love to have some more of this land kind of see a pink flag way back there here's my composting toilet fortunately I had an accident this morning and I broke my toilet paper holder dang it a truck update needs tires <laughs> my rears especially these BFGs are they are kind of crowned worn in the center I almost went I've been looking at tires for two weeks I almost went to discount after work Friday and I was like, oh, I'll wait and see how things are after all the bills clear and all that. Yeah, should have. I think it's gonna be this, you know, the discount tire sells a warranty for kind of lifetime deal, free fixes and replacement and all that. For another set of these, it was gonna be, I think, like 1200 bucks roughly for the BFG KO2s. I don't know, I don't drive it enough. So I don't, I don't know what to do. I was looking at some Cooper mud terrains. They don't have any kind of tread wear warranty, but mud tire would have been really helpful today or yesterday. Really couldn't fill the trailer back there at all. Um, that's 1,500 pounds. I had a few tubs of things in it. Uh, all my trail supplies and stuff like that. I had all the RC cars in the truck, but definitely gonna need tires. No, that's not a cup full of pee. All right, guys, the day's winding down. I'm gonna leave tomorrow morning. Let some of this dry out in the sun today. Made some pretty good progress in knocking this little hill down, filling in my rut of a drive. I'm beat, my hands are hurting, shoveling all day. Got this knocked back, oh, maybe five feet, and just threw everything as far as I could. Just trying to build this up. Hopefully, we don't get stuck getting out, but 
we shouldn't we got downhill momentum and now we have the width to actually fit the trailer and the truck through so I can get enough speed and just come right on through been trying to walk on it and pack it down but yeah it's pretty soft still but we'll just leave it like that and see what mother nature has for us next time we come this little generator i it doesn't like the power of the ac and the air conditioning in the a-liner um it will on high it has eco mode and it runs pretty quiet but I haven't put any gas in it since I bought it. And I ran it for about four hours for break-in, changed the oil, and brought it out here. Got some gas in my can, but still running. I'll just run it periodically, an hour here, an hour there. Yeah, so this generator will not start without the choke on, no matter how long it's been running or anything. So we're gonna call it Sarah. Took a very cold shower. Show you how I did that. Did feel a heck of a lot better though. Try to get a little further away from the road just in case, but I haven't seen anybody out here at all, ever, since I've been coming out. There was somebody about four, yeah, I'd say four lots, about, I'd say probably half a mile that way. Heard them yesterday. They had some loud music. Sounded like some kids out there with chainsaws. But yeah, my shower, it's about a 60 degree with a cold wind, cool breeze, and ice cold water. I'm just say you don't have a problem conserving water when it's that cold. But man, I do feel a heck of a lot better. Sure is nice out here. So I'm looking for a cell phone booster. Um, if anybody has any experience, any reviews of one. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. And I enjoy these videos probably more than y'all do. But uh, it's just nice to get away. Life's getting pretty hectic, so... It's nice to get up here and just be alone and be with the trees. But stay tuned. I've got a video with the old red Hilux, its new modifications, and the uh, Forerunner with its changes coming out pretty soon. And I'm going to do, I'm wait till I get back home. I was going to do it up here, but I've got this camper a mess. I'm going to do an actual kind of review video of the A-liner. And um, I'm going to wait till I get back home, get it cleaned up, and we can talk about the pros and cons of that. So there are many, but as far as campers go, that's, that's the lesser of the evils. But we'll save that for that video. Appreciate you guys watching. Keep it scale. I'll see y'all in the next one. Sliding makes my beard look very distinguished. It's not. I know that truck. That ain't no stranger. I know that truck. It's a Chevy Silverado. This damn Apple Watch got me out here chasing rings like I'm a hobbit. Almost filled up the exercise one.